I've got Brother Tim Treber here with me. You did a great job preaching for us Amen. this morning. And uh, we love you. Thank God for you. Praying for your wife and baby. And praying for another one on the way, right? Yes, sir. Very soon. Two weeks. And so uh, I'm glad to have you in this friend's meeting. I want you to give us just a word of encouragement here about what we're trying to do. It's been an honor for me and my father to be this uh, past couple of days. And to see what the Lord's doing here uh, in this Independent Baptist Friends meeting is just superb, incredible. And to be around people that have the same vision, the same heart that Pastor Sexton has here as well. It's, it's just a blessing to be around. Now, did I tell you to say that? You did. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, but I appreciate you loving me. Praying for you, buddy. Thank you so much. God used you in a great way today preaching. Praise Thank the Lord. the Lord for you. Now, this is my old buddy here, my old friend, Dr. Jack Treber. Always a great encouragement. He has me out to, for his place to preach. And he does it because I'm old and broken down yes. and he just wants to encourage me. And I return the favor of these old broken down uh, hobbling around preachers, you know. Listen, you did a great job preaching this evening. Oh, yeah. The message on revival. And uh, people are, people are moved, really, because we know we can't get it done. Only God can. And I just want to thank you for coming. God I, bless you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank section. the God Lord for you. you. Love you. And Thanks if you have just help. a word to say about Independent Baptist Friends, if you think there's any truth, friendship, and world evangelism needed in the world. There is. Good. What <laughs> you're doing, what you're doing is great. And and by the way, uh, my friendship has been strengthened with you because of it. But we've been friends for so many years. I appreciate everything you're doing here. The Temple Baptist Church, Crown College. You're you're an amazing man. I love you so much. So proud of you. You're, you're a blessing. You're awfully kind. Yeah. Here we are standing here complimenting one another. But the, Rub real, your back. the <laughs> real burden that we have is that we leave something for the next generation. Yeah, right. And God's given us something. Good, godly men and women handed it off to us. Mm -hmm. And I want to give them the same truth uh, that has been handed to me. And I know you feel the same. And way you more. are. God bless you. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. This is Dr. David Gibbs. He needs no introduction, of course. But anyway, he's here preaching at this Baptist Friends meeting and has done an outstanding job, as expected. I don't know why we just get to thinking that these folks who are going to preach are going to get the job done, but let's give God all the glory. Amen. Amen. All the glory. Even though you're a very capable man, studious, prepared, you and I know that we can't get up and do it without the Lord, and He gets all the glory. And I appreciate your message so much. Spoke to my heart. I'm convicted. And you know, when you were talking about pride and all of us, uh, I actually have to resist that because we crave that. That's right. We just crave wanting the attention. And unless it's death to self, that's all it's going to be. But you, you did a great job preaching. And maybe there's just a word you can say about the friends meeting and what we're trying to accomplish. I'd appreciate it. There is such an amazing spirit and such a camaraderie among God's people here. And boy, I encourage you, if you ever get a chance, come. Experience the spirit of what God's doing here. It's God's people wanting to do God's work God's way mm -hmm. and reach the world for Christ. Uh, tonight I preached on, we don't want to rob heaven. All the glory belongs to him. And the whole place was full of conviction. And I, I didn't see a hand, it didn't go up. And then what a response to the invitation. I want to thank God for using you and thank you for letting him use you. Well, it was the Lord. It was the Lord. And boy, my prayer is that by God's grace, we'll change our land, we'll change our world by the power of God through yielded, humble servants. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank God you, Pastor. You.